So here we are, we have my LED LCD, LP LCD, so it uses it actually an LCD. Um, this is a really good example because you can kind of, I'm actually going to zoom out of the character here and we're going to zoom around these displays so I can kind of show you what's going on here. Anyways, this gives a good example of how thick actually the bezel is around the uh, display. You can kind of see that basically it has all the LEDs around shining across the surface and creates that barrier. And what I did is I put a bezel on top to deflect some of the uh, IR light that's here. Um, and then of course, you know, basically the normal box. Looking at it layer per layer, we have the PS3 i webcam, which again, thanks to Alex P, um, is able to work with these systems. Original backlight down below, you have a diffuser, which I just used actually one of the layer, the diffused layers of the backlight, had an extra diffuser in there, took that out, stuck it on the bottom. Got a piece of acrylic here for support, three millimeter. LCD matrix here with the printed, with the <laughs> circuit board in the back there, and, a, and coming down and connecting to the uh, basically, I just took the back of the LCD panel off, which has all the uh, VGA controller board and the backlight uh, power board attached behind there, and that just runs straight up to the LCD matrix. Um, now you have the acrylic touch surface, which is just a standard three millimeter piece, just like the one on below. So you're basically looking at about three millimeters, three millimeters, and probably about uh, two millimeter, maybe one to two millimeters for the matrix, and obviously the diffusers and count. So you're looking at you know not too not too thick of a surface here. And then, of course, you have the bezel that are the IR LEDs and then the um, top bezel on top to deflect it all back down. Moving on, this is the table that I'm working on right now, the thing that you already saw in the mock living room of mine. This is it broken down, um, what it's going to be. It's going to have glass on top. It's going to have projection material either on the top or the bottom, um, preferably on the top, uh, because then you won't have to see the projected image actually below the end light and acrylic. Um, inside, uh, you're going to have environmental lights, uh, comms, uh, uh, 850 LED, 850 nanometer LED strips around. I'm probably going to think it's about 12 feet total. This is going to be a 42 inch, uh, 16 by 9 uh, screen. Which, uh, it's going to be quite a feat in itself. I'm hoping I can pull it off. Um, like I showed you a second ago, uh, the mirrors here uh, to deflect the uh, image, and then of course the webcam there. And basically moving on, we got uh, Alex's LLP setup here, which has just a piece of uh, Roscoe Gray of some sort on the front and any piece of acrylic um, on the back or glass or really doesn't matter as long as it's uh, strong um, to take a touch. Basically the IR uh, lasers here create a plane of light as showed in the mock di uh, display up there and you have create with 120 degree line lens shoots across the surface on both sides. Um, basically shines from behind here. This is more of a wall setup, um, commonly seen in more of an enclosed box, but I decided just to stay true to his designs that he's documented on his uh, threads and stuff and showing that he basically just sat it up on a tripod and had the image projected here and I did it all nice, his, his nice uh, smoke applications and stuff. Here's Sarah Katz, uh Seth Sandler's table that actually was the thing that got me inspired to kind of get building uh, these systems. I started with uh, Johnny Lee's uh, YouTube Wiimote uh, videos, I was perusing the uh, waves of uh, random videos on YouTube and came to his mini, uh, MT Mini and then to his table and found out that, hey, this guy actually goes to my school. And he graduated um, in 08 and I was actually able to see his table as a senior project, um, which was really nice to actually play and uh, get into, uh, just get excited about multi-touch in general. This is um, fairly, uh, most of these models are fairly true to life as best as I could. Um, and basically this is his setup. He's using an FDIR and he's got uh, the Roscoe Gray and compliant layer and the acrylic and then he's got the uh, very, very popular Os Osram's SFH485 LR LEDs. He's got 25 around on each side, 50 total. Um, and then of course your simple mirror projector setup. So that's about it for the displays and stuff. I just wanted to show you real quick the building uh, API of this thing and how easy it is to actually get everything together and built. So any of you looking to uh, build or mock up your other thing that are common to using SketchUp or any of the other uh, modeling softwares, I'll let you know this is actually a free program, totally free. Um, if you do want to texture anything that is of your own, uh, similar to like for instance, these are all textured planes I did here, but if you want to do that, you do have to uh, somehow acquire some money, which you can easily bribe off people. It's only 10 linden, which is really like pennies or cents or something in uh, this uh, game here. Um, so 
if you want to create something, you just can simply uh, create anything you really want. Um, let's see, what am I going to create? Uh, let's just, I mean, I can create a basic table just for the context of all this. So put a cube down using controls. You can kind of, you know, I can go fairly fast, but get used to all this. Hollow it out. You can, you know, create planes out of it. creating all sorts of stuff. Really simple to do, really quick to throw something together if you need to show a project or anything to somebody or kind of just mock it all up. Um, I, f I basically <laughs> picked most of this up and I and uh, figured all this out within literally only a couple days. And so basically really easy to see. So if you think anything you saw so far is <laughs> too intense for you, trust me, it is very simple to do if you just actually just twiddle with it enough. and. I mean, you got your basic shapes of squares and triangles and spheres and stuff, and they pretty much build everything. You can hollow them, twist them, move them, shrink them, everything you want to do. But um, you basically just create all these different things, and uh, I, I tell me, okay. So you can, uh, yeah, just uh, duplicate the planes and bring them down, and then you know, select them all, and voila, we've got a box. Oh, come here. Okay, there we go. No, nope, don't. <laughs> Moving around the cameras and getting the controls is probably I think the hardest part. But anyway, so you got a, you got a you got a box there if you want to uh, take these things and you know break them apart and then create this thing and turn it into oh well, I don't know let's say um, some acrylic. So then we'll just make it boom there we go acrylic and you just put your piece of acrylic on there. So you can uh, do all sorts of stuff. So I mean if you wanted to you know create, uh, let's see, um, I got a webcam in here somewhere, let's see, uh, mini parts, here we go, um, PSI webcam will work, um, alright, that's ginormous, but that's usually the size of your webcam if you're building an empty mini sometimes, you start with a small box, so I'm just moving around and positioning it around here, so basically I kind of built a MT Mini. I mean, I could basically uh, make this layer. You see, I copied the layer. You just hold the shift and move it. Um, let's see, make this layer. Oh, I don't know. Let's just make it just a normal white piece of paper and put that on top, and you now have your MT Mini. Ta-da! <laughs> Pretty simple. So that's basically the build app um, of uh, this game. Really simple. can do all sorts of stuff. Um, you know, you can do a bunch of stuff I haven't even done yet, uh, such as uh, molding stuff, more like it, but um, I got uh, one more thing here. It's a uh, good old uh, Nui um, touchdown circles. Here it is. Okay. So this is some of my marketing of sort that I uh, throw up every time I'm working on stuff just to get, just, you know, get people kind of interested, but basically it's uh, two hands here. And doing the old standard uh, draw part and then a little text thing in there and get into the world of multi-touch. So that is my uh, basically second life walkthrough of modeling and doing uh, quick model mock-ups and how easy it is to kind of showcase your stuff. Unfortunately, as I, w I wish these models were able to be seen re on a, r a regular basis, they're actually all items inside my inventory. So unfortunately... You know, all the tables and all the display, oops, <laughs> all the displays, all the uh, setups here that you saw are all actually in my inventory. Um, they contain a lot of prims, which are the um, building, which everything is a plane is a prim, a cube is a prim. So, problem is they contain thousands of prims, hundreds of thousands of prims, which isn't efficient, but kind of needed for a lot of those LED things um, just to kind of show everything. So, can't really put it down on a piece of land because that I would own because the land. Is, is basically you own land and it has max number of prims allowed on it. So I'm on a public land right here, um, which is where I typically display it because it's got a lot of room to kind of move around. So anyways, that's it. Um, so check out everything, new group, check out my blog. And if you ever want to come see these displays for yourself in Second Life, don't hesitate to uh, send me an email at proproductions at gmail.com. And uh, my... Uh, Avatar's name, as you can see there, is uh, Poasmus, so you can search that, add me as a friend or whatnot, and uh, I can show you some apps, or I can show you these things in real life. You can kind of walk around and, you know, get inside your head and move around. So, until next time.
I'll see you guys around.